Welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at another tutorial from the Game Jam. Um, we got, we, I'm going to cover one or two more, uh, this being one of them. Um, and today we're going to look at decals, something kind of uh, very easy uh, to add in and can change your game's look without you messing too much with the initial materials of your static meshes you can just add these on the top and this will kind of project your decal onto the wall or onto a table for example you know you can add little details into your world without uh too too much sort of messing around if you will so uh these are actually really really simple to put together this will be as i said probably like a two three minute tutorial god i'm bringing up the today's news again uh, so you can see here where I've got kind of like my numbers and I've got the initial textures that have come through. Now, I haven't actually done anything too crazy with these these textures. Uh, they are just kind of, I, I, I wanted it to look a bit like blood uh, splatter. So I kind of got paint open and just kind of went to town with a brush and um, kind of came up with this very simple effect. So I've done this in paint in like two seconds. That's why they look a bit rubbish. Um, and I haven't done anything with the, the kind of information in the details panel. So you can just uh, import your PNG uh, and hopefully you should be okay. And the next thing we want to do is create a new material. So I'll call this one toot. So I know it's for the tutorial. Um, we can open that up. And we want to get a texture sample node. Uh, this should be, as I say, very, very simple indeed to do. If, I, if it'll let me do it, there we go. Uh, we want to change our base material. We want that to be a uh, deferred decal. And we want it to be translucent. Um, and we can leave the default lit. And all we're going to do is we're going to change this now to... We're going to find my number one. Oh, it should be at the top there. Uh, this is number two. Whoops. Uh, I, I named them the, back, the other way around. That's why. Um... And so we can just plug the RGB into the base color and we want to take the A and plug that into the opacity and it should be as easy as that. Um, one annoying thing I have noticed with these deferred decals is um, when you drag it in. So if we drag this one now into our scene, I don't know what's happened to me lightning, but there we go. Uh, it will be facing the wrong direction. Uh, if I put on, there we go, yeah. So you'll see it's facing downwards. Um, so if we rotate this now, now obviously it still needs to kind of render and apply and things like that. So you might need to wait a few seconds for it to finish doing that. Um, let me just reopen it very quickly. Maybe I didn't apply it or something, I don't know. No, it is applied, okay. Um, and what we wanna do is shorten it down a bit. It's very large. So yeah, I think I was just being a bit impatient um, because it's actually, I think it just needed a bit of time to update. Um, and there we go. And we now have a lovely number one on our wall. And it is very simple as that. Just be a bit more patient than I was when it comes to uh, waiting for the texture to update. Um, but yeah, you've got a one on your wall now and um, it makes it look a bit more interesting. I don't know what's happened to that one now though. What the heck? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, we've got the tutorial one working, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Even though I didn't actually technically do anything. Um, but yeah, uh, so hopefully you found that useful. Um, as I say, very, very simple stuff. The, the texture itself is literally just setting it up as a uh, deferred decal translucent and plugging in your texture that you want um, to have uh, posted on your wall. Uh, very, very simple stuff. Uh, I still don't know what happened to the other one, but I'll figure that one out later. Not an issue. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, as I say, very useful for sort of making your game look a little bit more interesting just through um, textures alone. Um, and it's super simple and anyone can do this and add it into their game. So um, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free to do, you can always change your mind. And of course, uh, the game jam is out. You can play this game here I'm working on right now on itch.io. The link is in the description. So don't forget to go and check that out and uh, vote on uh, SurveyMonkey for who you want to win the Game Jam. Uh, it ends tomorrow. So we will be doing the results tomorrow afternoon. 
so you have a little bit of time left. So thank you so much, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.